It's probably not a scene you'd expect in the middle of COVID-19 restrictions. But residents of Rosilac and Environ say enough is enough. They blocked a major thoroughfare this morning to highlight issues with the state of the road. We want a road fix as soon as possible. It's what the Grants Road residents say is their simple request and one that has fallen on deaf ears for far too long. We have been asking over and over from the last government to the same government again. Nothing is being done. So to this morning we decided to come out and vent our frustration. And that's just what they did. Burning tires and debris sent a message not only to the authorities, but to those who would use the road that something needs to be done. This Grand Road is the main artery from Faisabad to most of the connection areas around here. Kayosa Point, Labre, Faisabad, all through, pass through here. There were traffic about two miles back up on the main road today because they couldn't pass here. I have made representation in the Ministry of Works. My last letter was on the 17th of September to have this road repaired. To this date, they have not even acknowledged that they have received my, my, my email. Furthermore, to say what they're going to do or whether they're going to, do, going to do anything. These residents are not protesting people, but they're fed up. The road has also been affecting business in the area as it sometimes becomes impassable. Well, this entire road is a twofold problem. One, when the sun is hot, the entire roadway is dusty and you have problems throughout the road. When rain falls, you have the major potholes, you have flooding. So either way, we are seeing problem year round. Dry season, rainy season, same problem. The residents say they are prepared to keep up their protests until their road is fixed. Stacey Ann Providence, TDT News. In response, the Ministry of Works and Transport says while Grants Road is classified as a secondary road, it recognizes that the road is being utilized by trucks and heavy equipment, and as such, immediate patching works became necessary. The Ministry says tenders were invited to conduct remedial works on Grants Road earlier this year, and Carib Asphalt Pavers Limited was awarded the contract around August 28th. Those works were scheduled to begin this week, but the ministry says due to the inclement weather, the contractor said the works would now be scheduled for next week. The ministry says at the end of the highway extension project, full road rehabilitation works along Grants Road will be conducted, but for the duration of this ongoing project, every effort will be made to continue to keep Grant Road in a satisfactory condition for the traveling public.